Love Island star Amber Davis revealed her white Range Rover was broken into on Friday. The 25-year-old took to her Instagram stories to upload a snap of the side of the car, which had its back right window smashed into. Amber sarcastically captioned the post, Happy Friday. Earlier that evening, Amber had shared a picture of herself and her co-star before his debut on stage for the Back to the Future musical. This delight in doing his George debut tonight and has bloody incredible. Third hubby of the week, go on then, she wrote. Since leaving Love Island, the star has taken part in a few stage productions, including Dolly Parton 9 to 5 and Bring It On. She recently landed the role of Lorraine Baines in the Back to the Future musical. I am over the moon to be joining the West End cast of Back to the Future, the musical at the Adelphi, Lorraine Baines I'm coming for you, let the fun commence. At the musical 2022-2023, she revealed at the time. Earlier this year, Amber talked about Love Island and how she wouldn't appear on the ITV2 dating show if she were to enter it now. She won the dating show in 2017 alongside her ex-boyfriend Kim Setney after the pair met and fell in love in the villa. Despite winning the show, Amber admitted that Terry's not a chance she would appear on it now because it has become too vicious. The brunette bombshell has also warned that new contestants will need a thick skin because of the abuse they may face on social media. Amber said the hate that people get from the show is savage. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight into your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz Newsletter. When I did it five years ago it wasn't as vicious as it is now, the hate online that they all get, it's savage, she insisted. I'm so glad I did it when I did. I was only 20 when I won, and when I look back I think, wow, I was really strong. The new contestants need to have a good support system and a really thick skin, she told The Sun. Amber previously admitted that she wishes she attended therapy sessions after her stint on Love Island. Speaking to Roxina Falsi on the Moments That Made Me podcast, Amber said, I've experienced so much and yet in lockdown I was the saddest I've ever been in my life. I think that was because I was processing everything, I was processing absolutely everything that had happened. All I wish that I'd done differently was that I had therapy as soon as I came out or six months after I came out. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29